Welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipsky, your host. Today I'll be showing you how to use Windows Movie Maker. It's actually a free video, video editing software you can get through uh, Windows 7 or Windows 8 or even Windows XP. Okay, so to access it, you click on the Start menu here. Now on Windows 8, of course, it's going to be different. You have to access the desktop first and uh, look for it. Okay, so the interface right here, the OS system that I'm using is Windows 7. Okay, so click on Start Menu, and it's under All Program. Click on that, okay, and you'll see it right about here, Windows Live Movie Maker. Now on Windows XP, it's probably just going to be called Windows Movie Maker. Okay, we'll click on that, and there we go. We'll come to the uh, program. Now I just want to show you the basic interface, the user interface in uh, Movie Maker. So let's have a look. So you click on here, the Home Tab menu you get this very important function like add videos and photos, add music, uh, record live webcam videos, take a photo snapshot, right? Here's a title, here's the end credit. These are auto movie theme, we'll talk about that later. You can rotate your videos as well to left or right. You can upload it to Facebook, YouTube, or uh, Microsoft SkyDrive, okay? And then, of course, down here, we're gonna, I'll show you later that this is a zoom tab where you can uh, zoom in and zoom out to see uh, your video clip in detail. Okay, so now let's assume that you record your videos on your uh, camcorder, okay, and you save it onto SD card. And now you um, uh, put it into the SD slot of your desktop or laptop and now you save it on to maybe say my videos folder so we're gonna do that we're gonna uh, add the video that we just saved okay we'll click on that and there it is my videos folder folder and I'm going to click on the clip that I recorded which say this one is uh, a couple years ago I record um, my fish tank let's open that up okay and there is the f uh, one clip video clip that I did okay and uh, here's a hairline cursor. If you move it around, you can actually go through in detail, right? Each of the scene, right? The clip scene. You can see the timeline here, the hairline cursor, and then it tells you where you are. This is 36.88 second. You can see that it's quite precise. The 88 second, that the the hundredth, is a uh, 10 millisecond seconds accurate. Okay. That's how accurate these video frame is. So you can go up to 10 milliseconds in each of the movement here. Okay, so very precise. Now down here, let's say you know I want to see in detail. I just zoom in, moving towards the right, the plus marker here, and you can see you can see in detail, right? You can actually move very fine, right? About 10 millisecond between each of the hairline cursor as you move through there like that okay now if you want to zoom out to see the whole clip and there we go you have one video clip so I'm gonna put somewhere in the middle here there we go okay that's good now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna at the beginning I'm gonna add my title okay it's called the intro to this um, movie clip let's do that and just call it my movie video okay just type that in now you can change um, you know what it looks like let's make it bold Let's change a different type of font. Let's make it look, I don't know, let's, how about that one? And then you can change color. Let's make it uh, yellow. There we go. We're good. And play it. And there we go. That's what it looks like. Pretty good. Now let's say if we want to add um, a music background for that for intro, we could do that. Click on Home tab, Add Music. And let's say we'll add this one here, Music file that I uh, have uh, in my um, folder click on that notice that the the green line here okay showing it all the way to the end we don't want that long we just want it up to here okay so we double click uh, click on the um, green line here for the music and notice here it said 907 seconds that's a little bit too long we're gonna change that to let's say six second press enter and that's a bit too short let's make it seven second Okay, that's just right. Okay, so from here to here is ten, uh, seven seconds. Let's play that again. 
perfect okay now if you're not happy with this um let's click back to the home tab button and you have this auto uh, movie theme there we go we can make it really nice let's see here or let's see let's just try another one let's see different um option okay let's try that one that's the only one we have for now okay so if you play that there we go looks a little bit better okay and now let's say we want to split this um movie clip right this video clip into two scenes let's say about here okay and uh to do that you bring your hairline cursor this one here the straight line here uh to the um end of the second clip or the first clip and go beginning of the second clip and then you would use your mouse the right click button and that will bring you to a menu and what you want to do is click on split function right here okay and that will split your video and a clip into two parts one and two here so what we want to do is introduce a second scene uh, I'm gonna add a title there if you want I'm gonna do that so Okay, there's a hairline cursor. We're going to add here, click on this part here, the um, title. I'm going to do that. I'm going to call it second scene or scene two. Okay, there we go. We're done. And uh, oops, we press too much. And there we go. It's done. And what we're going to do now, let's zoom out for a minute. There we go. And what we want to do here is to add a music background. Again, you want to do add music and click on at this current point okay so add music at this current point and there we go and we're going to add jingle bell there let's see okay so notice how the green line here where the music is supposed to be placed along the timeline we we th i think it's too long so what we're going to do is double click on that green line where the music is placed and we're going to change that okay so it starts at 63.87 second but we want to uh starting point zero second which is here at the current point and then we're gonna change that to be, be say uh, seven second there we go that's about right and let's bring the hairline cursor at the beginning of this second scene and see what happened okay very good now you can double click that click the home tab to change maybe um, change it to this one okay okay maybe we'll leave it that alone sorry let's do that again. Um, this one what happened here let's see oh yeah that should go here okay it was m misplaced so we're gonna delete this part this end credit here the the auto uh, mo movie theme automatically put in there we don't want that we're gonna do that later on okay so now we have the intro first scene and then the second scene okay there we go let's play that again to all right beautiful let's try this one perfect okay I like that okay now what I want now is maybe I want to um, split this um, movie clip here into another part so, okay first part two part okay because say I don't want this part here and it maybe it was like a little bit maybe the scene shouldn't be there so let's we'll do that so what we want to do is split uh, the scene here to get rid of that portion so what you want to do is split where it begins the part you don't want and then where it ends bring your hairline cursor there and okay let's say here okay and we're gonna right click again and split it so now you have this scene you can remove so let's remove it and voila it's gone okay so now you have this uh, clip that in between that you don't want is now removed then let's add um, lastly let's add the end credit so we click on here end credit and we'll make it let's see call it Sipsky okay credit to Sipsky now we can um, stretch it you know make it look it's a little bit small let's make it big let's say 48 there we go and we can make this uh, Sipsky looks nicer put in a center and change the color for that to yellow okay and we're good now one well, last thing i want to add is the music so click on home tab and add music to current point 
let's make it this one here and we're good okay so let's start from the beginning there we go my movie video very good and okay and then we're, we're gonna move it we're gonna move it all the way to the second scene again good and then we're gonna move it to um, the 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 last part of credit there we go that's the credit and that's basically the basic of video editing right you want to put the intro um, title in there and you want to put the if there's a second scene you want to put a title there and music background and the end credit and then of course in between you can uh, you know edit by you know cut cutting a specific scene that you don't want or even in certain certain scene in there you could do that too you just have to do is right click and add a photo videos in there okay now in fact you might wanna uh, let's say go to the point where you want to insert and just add video photo by clicking that okay let's say I want to do that I can click on there and I can add a video there and then of course I will, I will edit that video as well okay it's that simple now to upload it there's a um, an icon of YouTube, Facebook, and SkyDrive for Microsoft. You know, upload online. You could do that too. Another way I like, actually, you know, I'm used to, is to save it here. Save your project first, and then publish the the movie to again Facebook, YouTube, SkyDrive, Flickr, right? Whatever you want. Okay. Um, or save the movie for later, like. For example, let's say you want to burn on DVD, you could do that. It's very easy. You could do that. Just insert your DVD and uh, it will save into a file. And then yeah, you have a DVD burner software. You can just drag that file into it. And there we go. You got a DVD um, movie. Okay. So you can use that for in your uh, Blu-ray player or DVD player. Now, what I like actually is to save it on my computer, right? And I'll call it here, my movie Sipski. Okay, and then uh, I'll upload it to YouTube later. Okay, that's what I like to do and do that. And there we go, now it's saving, okay? So if it's a small clip, it's quite fast, you can see here, and I'll let it save, okay? That's about it, it's quite simple. And you can play around with other features on uh, Movie Maker and see what you can come up with. But pretty much this is the basic of using Movie Maker, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, educatetube.com.